Yeah, Bob and Hope. So Chris Wardle recounted to me those moments that his friend and the shooting victim, Steve, said that they realized that uh, what police later said, Justin Llewellyn broke into their home and stole one of their cars before taking off, and he hasn't been seen since. Oh, uh, this is the victim and his family. Wardle says everyone was home at the time. And they say Llewellyn shot out the sliding glass door to get ended up shattering the fish tank, which is what alerted the intruder. A Wardle says Steve immediately ran over to the garage where Llewellyn ended up stealing the family's car, ramming into their two other vehicles to get away. But right before that, Wardle says Steve, in trying to protect his family and get this suspect away from his home, confronted Llewellyn. And that's when Llewellyn fired those shots, hitting Steve three times. The guy reaches into his pocket, pulls out a pistol, and tells Steve to give him his car keys. He slams the door on the guy runs back upstairs and he gets to the top of the stairs and he realizes that everything is not okay in his life. He reaches to his chest and, and he's got hand, hands full of blood and, and at that point he's realizing that he's shot. He's looking back and he's grabbing a towel and he's rushing his whole family to barricade them behind a door. Now here are pictures of Steve's bullet wounds. Wardle says even though he was quickly released from the hospital that day on Saturday, those bullets are still inside of him. He was hit once in the chest and Wardle says twice in the side. So it is extremely lucky that he is alive tonight. But the family is now dealing with the aftermath of the situation. Their house is a mess. All of their cars are wrecked, not to mention the one that was stolen and later ditched uh, and from the ordeal. On top of that, the suspect is still tell the guys in cuffs, I don't think you can face like, this guy shot me. This guy, you know, what, why did he do it? I'm sure that's going through his head. What was he really evading? And of course, that's what police are trying to figure out as well. While hope for Llewellyn's capture and closure, police say he is still at large, considered armed and dangerous. This afternoon, three schools, in fact, were placed on lockdown as part of the search when police took those three people into custody. They have some knowledge as to what's going on and, uh, and where maybe our suspect is. So we're interviewing them right now. And like I said, charges may fall on these individuals. And since police said that this afternoon, of course, and we now know tonight that two of those three were officially charged with obstruction of justice, Tasha and Misty Llewellyn. Now, police will not confirm their relation to Llewellyn, but it appears that Tasha is Justin's mother. And now police are just trying to find Justin. And police told me uh, tonight that they are now offering a cash reward for any information that leads to Justin's arrest. They won't say the amount of the cash reward uh, for the shooting victim, Steve and his family. Uh, they are, of course, now dealing not only with being injured in this brutal attack, but also everything that comes along with it. They say they're thankful that the Harriman community has come and stepped up to help them. And there is a fundraising site that we will include on our website, fox13now.com.